What's the worst gift I've ever given you? Your hand in marriage. <laughs> This is why I tell y'all not to be joking about some things. Cause Jody Turner Smith joked about Joshua Jackson's hand in marriage being her worst gift and it came to pass. Anyway, apparently as much as Jody has been living her best life and slaying, behind the scenes, she's been saying some things about JJ and even subtly shading Lupita Nyong'o for hitting it up with somebody Jodily allegedly called mediocre. And I just have to say, I think, again, for any person, man or woman, who can relate to being in a relationship with someone who blames you for their inadequacies and doesn't take the action to take their own life on, that moment, I feel, was a moment for all of us where I just wanted to throw my computer across the room and scream and shout and just rejoice. Guys, even before I get into how Jody allegedly called JJ mediocre, can I just acknowledge how Jody was looking amazing at the Oscars red carpet in her black gown that left nothing to the imagination. I mean, she ate that look and left no crumbs. Jody even captioned a pic from the event, moisturized, blessed, highly favored, this gown has made its way to the top of my list as my favorite I have ever worn. Thank you, Sabotage, and the entire team over Gucci for making me feel so sexy and so supported. I love you guys forever. Darn girl! With that look, Jody really did save my ex who and competition where. Speaking of the competition, Miss Lupita was also at the Oscars, but not with Joshua Jackson. She was there with Joseph Quinn. Maybe they didn't want to go together because they knew that Jody would also be there and they didn't want it to be awkward. Or maybe JJ was just busy and Lapita took Joseph. I don't know y'all, but what I can tell you is that the streets are saying that there seems to be a bit of tension. So Lapita and JJ sort of confirmed their relationship when they were seen holding hands and engaging in serious PDA while heading to a grocery store in Joshua Tree, California. Well, they had previously been spotted at a grocery errand a few days before that when Lupita desperately tried to hide in the passenger seat of JJ's car. However, recently, Lupita and Joshua made it official when they went to Mexico to celebrate Lupita's 41st birthday and from the photos that made the rounds, we can tell that that vacay was spicy. Apparently for the birthday, Joshua also set up a large balloon display and a stunning bouquet of flowers in their hotel suite. A source also told E! News about their time together in Mexico, they looked madly in love, like they just couldn't get enough of one another. Of course, all this lovey-dovey behavior comes just after Jody and Joshua got divorced. And the initial reason that was given for the divorce was that Jody decided that she's done being in an unhealthy marriage to Joshua. Apparently, they had been growing apart and the quality of their marriage had deteriorated a lot. And they were on very different paths in life. Also, their hectic work schedules started to weigh on their marriage and they tried in vain to make things work and were taking steps to heal their relationship and deal with managing their busy schedules. According to the report, from an outside perspective, things looked great for a while, but privately, they were slowly growing apart. It was also reported that Joshua was caught off guard by Jody's decision to divorce him. They had their issues, as many couples do, especially two busy actors who are also juggling a child, but he reportedly didn't realize it was that bad and that Jody was that unhappy. Now, just before Lupita and Joshua went on their vacation, Jody had broken her silence on the matter, telling the Times, sometimes things we really want to work just don't end up working. And that's okay. The most important thing is that you choose what's healthiest for you and your family and definitely your children. Jody also underscored the importance of asking yourself if you're being true to yourself adding. If the answer is no, then you have to make a move because I believe that there are visible scars from staying in places that are not good for us. And they don't just affect us, they affect everybody around us. She also said that she doesn't consider her marriage to Joshua to be a failure, noting that they had such a beautiful moment together and now it's just time for a new moment for both of them. In addition, Jody also called recognizing that something isn't working for you and setting out to change the bravest thing in the world and an example she wants to set for her daughter. I mean, Jody really did try to seem positive in the interview, but based on recent reports, it appears that she and Joshua didn't quite end things on the best note and behind the scenes, Jody has been tripping. Apparently, other than the things which she said through her reps, Jody has been saying other things behind the scenes and they have not been the diplomatic things she has said about the divorce. 
The thing is, somebody attended a screening for Anatomy of a Fall where Jody was the moderator and the first thing that person pointed out was that Jody probably agreed to be a moderator at the screening because she really connected to the main character. So this is what that person told Dumois. I was at the screening of Anatomy of a Fall before Christmas and Jody Turner Smith was the moderator and she was so open about what happened in her marriage to Joshua Jackson. It was honestly shocking. She said that like the woman Sandra plays in the movie, Jody herself knows exactly what it's like to be in a marriage that fails because the man is mediocre. She used the word mediocre about Joshua Jackson. It was unbelievable. So it definitely sounds like from everything she said that Jody thought of Joshua as pathetic with a career that was going nowhere and was miserable because of it and took it out on her. So she divorced him. Other than that, I've also read from various sources that Jody feels some sort of way about Joshua moving on with Lupita. But I want to believe it's because she doesn't believe someone like Lupita should be with somebody mediocre. Well, not many people are here for the relationship anyway, especially considering even when he was with Jody, Joshua was a walking red flag. So just for a bit of background, the two connected through Usher at his star-studded birthday bash in 2018, and Jody gave up her goodies on the first night. Jody was actually happy to tell her story later in 2021, and she said on the late night with Seth Meyers, when I first met my husband, we had a one night stand. We're in a two, three year one night stand now. First of all, I saw him before he saw me. And when I saw him, I was like, I want that. And then when he saw me, I just pretended like I didn't see him. After that first hookup, the next thing we knew Joshua and Jody were married. And this is after Jody proposed to JJ adamantly in Joshua's words. And shortly after Jody got pregnant, baby, if she would have taken her time to study the man, Jody would probably have caught some of the things people are talking about early. Like one red flag she should have spotted was how Joshua has some weird views on infidelity. Child, there were already rumors before that he cheated on Jody after the Daily Mail published photos and videos of Josh kissing a mystery woman in the parking lot. Josh and the woman seemed to be lost in the moment as they kissed next to the car. And the worst part was that the photos and videos were taken the same week as Joshua's birthday. It wasn't really a good look and let's just say that JJ's views on cheating certainly didn't make things any better. He literally told the Sunday Times, I think an affair can be forgiven. We're all grown ups. No one wants to be cheated on and there is massive repair to be done. Affairs aren't about the partner, they're about the person who has transgressed. It's not purely about the there's a deeper violation. Apparently, these are just some of the things Lupita should be seeing, and Jody is allegedly telling people that the way she started dating Joshua too quickly without doing her homework, it's gonna end badly. Baby, I personally agree that it was a bit fast, cause wasn't Lupita the one bashing her ex and talking about betrayal literally days before she was spotted with JJ? She actually shared a lengthy post about entering a season of heartbreak due to deception after a sudden love in her life revealed themselves as untrustworthy. She wrote in part, at this moment, it is necessary for me to share a personal truth and publicly dissociate myself from someone I can no longer trust. I find myself in a season of heartbreak because of a love suddenly and devastatingly extinguished by deception. But I am reminded that the magnitude of the pain I am feeling is equal to the measure of my capacity to love. And then she goes ahead and immediately moves on with someone who has also been called out for deception. Girl. I know Lupita is probably busy, but don't the people around her get the 411 about all these things that are being said about Joshua? I honestly never get these people in Hollywood, but I'd love to know your thoughts on this relationship so far. Do you think Jody is saying things about JJ to be mean, or should Lupita really just be careful? Let me know in the comment section down below.